of them you'd expect away from those. We're looking at the non-league sides left in it. Tamworth, Aldershot, Basingstoke, Salisbury drawing at the moment. Is there anyone else that you feel it might be their year or is it just too is it impossible to tell these days well, I think it is impossible to tell but uh, I mean I'd love to see my my club my old club West Ham get to the final again I think you've got to look at the likes of Everton who are due a cup run they've not been in the final for what 11 12 years uh, Spurs are up there as you can see they're a good team and perhaps Aston Villa with Martin O'Neill in charge I think they're clubs like that Blackburn a very strong team and you know they they fight for every match so there there are some perhaps outsiders premiership clubs that will fancy their chances this season and if you get perhaps a Chelsea, Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool draw in the third round, they'll fetch their chances even more. And the closest you came to winners' mess was, was what, 89? 89, 89 I got to the final, Ian, yeah, playing for Everton, and we lost three. Sign helpers today, they're from the world of boxing because they change the sport all the time. Other teams that you should look out for, uh, it's all in alphabetical order with the new teams coming in, the Championship and the Premiership. So Arsenal are number one, Villa are number two, Chelsea will be number ten. Uh, I think it's Amir Khan and Ricky Hatton who are doing the draw today. Liverpool will be number 21, 315 this draw, incidentally. Manchester United will be number 24, 48 will be Bristol City, 50 Macclesfield Town, Paul Ince's side right at the bottom of the Football League, 57 Salisbury or Nottingham Forest, 63 Aldershot or Basingstoke and last but by no means least 64 Tamworth. Now Tamworth non-league side are the only team definitely through to the third round of the non-league sides. All the others have drawn those games. They've achieved the feat for the second year running when they beat Rushton and Diamonds. Joining us live now is Fraser Dainton, our reporter, who's with the team and with the town. And I should imagine a little bit of free sort of excitement, Fraser. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Ian, I didn't hear a word of that. The lads are all getting very, very excited behind me, as I'm sure you can probably tell. Let's have a chat with uh, a couple of the personalities that are here today. We'll start with the chairman, Bob Andrews. Uh, Bob, into the third round for the second year running, an amazing achievement for, for you. It's tremendous for the club, yeah. It's a good boost for us. Uh, well, what can I say? All the fans enjoy it, and it's, it's great. They're hugely enjoying it, as we can probably tell. How much would it mean to you in financial terms if you were to get a big premiership club tonight? It, it, I just can't go away. If you get a television game, it, it, it boosts it a lot, but it, it's whoever turns up on the day and it's part of that crowd. So whatever it is, it's good financial boost anyway. All the fans getting very excited. Let's have a word with the captain there, Aidy Smith. Aidy, congratulations on the game yesterday against Rushton, but a few sore heads about this morning, I understand. Yeah, to be fair to the chairman, he came in after the game and he put a, a wedge of money on the table for the lads to go out and enjoy themselves after the game. So we all went out and we had a good time. Any preferences to do who you'd like to get in the next round? Um, to be fair, we want, we'd like the big guns, Man U's, the Arsenal's, the Chelsea's, but any premiership colour away has been absolutely brilliant. OK, guys, thanks very much indeed for joining us. As you can tell, great atmosphere here. Look out for ball number 64. Yeah, they're number 64. If they did indeed want Manchester United, number 24 is the number they'll need to listen out for. The FA Cup third round draw coming up next after this break. The excitement is building. Just update you then with how the second round FA Cup matches have finished this afternoon. Nottingham Forest against Salisbury away. That finished one all. So they go into the third round draw number 57 this afternoon. Bristol City beat Gillingham in the other game by four goals to three. They are number 48 in this afternoon's third round draw, which is coming up in just a couple of minutes' time. Let's have a word with Tony Cotty, who's our guest today, uh, not only to look ahead to the match between two of his old sides, Everton and West Ham United, but also to look ahead to the draw. And we talked in, in terms of the, the FA Cup so far, and looking at the, the two games that have happened today, I mean, Bristol City and Gillingham obviously involved in... Mm -hmm. Number one, Chelsea last lifted the cup in 2000. They're number 10 today. Everton, winners back in 1995. They're number 15. The holders, Liverpool, seven times winners of the FA Cup. They're number 21. 2004 winners, Manchester United. They're number 24. The semi-finalists last season, Middlesbrough, are number 25. And Newcastle, twice losing finalists in the last 10 years, are number 26. The FA Cup third round draw then, coming to you live. Here it is. Not yet. Let's take you through some other numbers then. Roy Keane's got a great FA Cup pedigree. His Sunderland team are 38. Tottenham, last winners in 91. They're number 39. Last year's runners-up, West Ham. They're number 42. Paulins is Macclesfield, rock bottom 
of the Football League. They're number 50, Aldershot or Basingstoke are number 63. And the only non-league team definitely in the third round, Tamworth, they're number 64. They're number 64, but they are the team, the non-league side, that are definitely through. There they are. They're watching us. Hi, boys. We're looking <laughs> forward to seeing who you get in round three. Stand by. Here it comes. Good afternoon and welcome to Soho Square for the draw for the third round proper of the FA Cup, sponsored by E.ON. It's always a special occasion when the clubs from the Premiership and Championship enter the competition. I know there will be many, many fans, players and club staff anxiously awaiting news of whether they have secured a dream draw against one of the big guns. Don't forget, tomorrow you can also cast your vote for the FA Cup Player of the Round at thefa.com. Today I'm delighted to welcome two of England's biggest boxing stars, Ricky Hatton and Amir Khan. This season we are being joined by a host of sporting men and women who are big supporters of football and the FA Cup in particular. Amir is a huge Bolton fan, while Ricky is an avid Manchester City supporter. And I know you'll be hoping to get good draws for your teams today. And now both Ricky and Amir had big fights coming up in the next few weeks, so we're very grateful to you joining us here today. Now, Ricky, can you please put that 64 balls into the bowl there. Make sure they all come out. <laughs> Got that last one out, very good. Not quite. <laughs> not quite. Oh, there it is. It could have been Man City, you know. Right. <laughs> Ricky's going to draw the home sides and uh, Amiot's going to draw the away. Right, Ricky, off we go. Number 45. Number 45, starting us off, Blackpool. Good FA Cup tradition. Number 63. 63. We'll play Aldershot Town or Basingstoke Town. Number 53. Number 53, Arbanic. Great win yesterday. Number 11. Number 11, we'll play Colchester United. Number 33. Number 33, Sheffield United had a good week in the league. Very well. Number 56. Number 56 will be at home to Swansea City. Number 32. Number 32, going great guns, Reading. Number 7. Number 7 will play Burnley. Number 29. Number 29. Also going well in the Premiership, Portsmouth. Number 43. Number 43 will play Wigan Athletic. Number 62. Number 62, Mansfield Town or Doncaster Rovers. Number 6. They will play Bolton Wanderers. 42. 42, I know that number straight away. West Ham United at home. Number 47. 47, at home to Brighton and Hove Albion. Number 20. Number 20, Leicester City. Number 16. Number 16, we'll play Fulham. Number 14. Number 14, Derby County. Number 46. Number 46 will play Dennis Smith Rexon. 44. 44, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Number 55. 55 will play Oldham Athletic. I uh, still beat, beat Kings Lane the other night. Very good game. 52. 52. Bury or Chester City? Number 18. Number 18, uh, Ipswich Town. Number 24, and all that number. <laughs> number 24, Manchester United. Who's going to go there? Number 2. Number 2, Aston Villa. Mm. Martin O'Neill would not be wanting that one. Number 34. 
Number 34, Sheffield Wednesday, and a really good run in the championship. Number 23. Number 23, good game, Manchester City. Tough one, Ricky, for Number 64. 64, Tamworth. Now, yeah, can they get a good team? Number 27. Number 27, Norwich City. 57. Number 57, 